the princess and the party. Once upon a time, there was a princess who wouldn't use her party. This party doesn't please me," said the princess. "Take it away." The party doesn't please the princess," said the chambermaid. The party doesn't please the princess," said the nursery maid. So they took away the party, and the, the princess wore her royal diaper instead. Now the king and queen were not. Happy with this, who were heard of a princess who wouldn't use her party? What would their neighbors say in the kingdom next door? They simply had to find. A party that would please the princess, so they sent out an urgent request to the finest party makers in the land. Soon, parties poured into the palace. First came a pink party. Pink is the princess' favorite color," said the party maker. "A pink party will certainly please her." But it didn't. Then came a purple party, a yellow party, and a polka dot party. One party maker brought a musical party. Another brought a party that glowed in the dark. But the princess wasn't interested in any of these fine parties. She had better things to do. The king and queen had. To cry,、hmm? something, try something else. So they tried singing to the princess and reading to the princess. The scent、hmm? in the princess' royal teddy bear to keep her com company. They sent in the whole court to keep her company. Finally, they sat on the parties themselves just to show the princess how much fun it was. The princess left. And left, but she wouldn't use her the party. Not knowing what else to do, the king and queen sent for the royal wise men to get his advice. Advice: If you ask me," said the royal wise man. "The princess will use the party when it pleases her to use the party, and when will that be?" asked in the king and queen. But that was a question. That even the royal wise man could not answer. Answer, 
So they waited and waited for a time to come when it would please the princess to use the potty. Now one day, the princess was watching the queen get dressed for a grand ball as the queen bent down to pull up. Her royal stockings, stockings. The princess not take the beautiful pantalets she had on. Those pantalets please me," said me," said the princess. The very next day, the queen took the princess shopping. They picked out the prettiest pair of pantalets in the land. Pantalets fit for a princess. The princess were then on the way home to the palace. She were then all the way through playtime. She were then all the way through her snack of milk and cookies. Suddenly. The princess could not sit still. She sat this way, and she sat that way. She crossed her legs. She got down on her knees. She knees her royal diaper. Cried the king to the. Chambermaid, she needs her royal diaper. Cried Queen to the nursery maid, but the princess did not want her royal diaper. She would have had to the to take off her pretty new、mm. pantalet. To put it on, and that she did not want to do. I need my potty! cried the princess. The royal servants ran to get every potty in the palace, but the princess chose chose. The plain one, one, because it was the nearest, nearest, nearest. This party pleases me," said the princess. And so it did.